Yo! Well, this is what I've been waiting for my whole entire life. I'm gonna go play the race car Yaya -ya games this weekend. I had to take my transmission out because my rear main seal was still leaking. So I fixed that because I can't have any oil leaks. Turn my tie rods in a quarter of a turn. It kind of wanders a little bit when I get on the throttle really hard in third gear. I, I don't know if it's a road or what, so I towed the tires in just a, a few degrees. A few tenths of a degree anyways. So yeah, this all looks good under here. I don't have any leaks now. I drove the crap out of it last night to make sure nothing's leaking on this thing. Because I have to have a car with no leaks. So it's all good. I'm going to be taking this to the map proving grounds at Brainerd International Raceway. They have autocross on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday is all open lapping. So, I don't know, I signed up as an amateur. I've had lots of practice a lot of different ways, but I've never done this before. So, just so long as I pass tech inspection, I should be okay. I had the next day air a helmet too. That was, a, that was the last piece of the puzzle I needed. I wanted to make sure everything was cool before I could do any of this. And somebody's letting me borrow an RV, which is really cool. So I'll be living in the lap of luxury. I originally bought some cheap Chinese gasket set, and I used all the gaskets in it with the exception of the head gasket. And um, this seal, the sealing surface, it just started coming apart just a little bit. And there was just a little piece of rubber that, that was sticking through just enough to make this thing leak just a cheap piece of crap seal and then and then I ordered I ordered on on eBay I, I ordered a Honda seal well they say it's Honda anyways it says made in Japan but it doesn't look like a Honda seal it looks like the same piece of crap that was already in here some Chinese crap and here's the fun thing I get the box that's the part number and it says made in China and then I open it up and it's like oh Japanese Honda okay and the label doesn't even look right it looks kinda goofy I wonder if this barcode even works so I called the supplier I mean it was only like twelve bucks seven to twelve dollars I don't know it was really cheap and, and they're like oh yeah um, our supplier says it's genuine and I'm like well what does that mean and they they were like trying to trying to write in plain English, and I could tell they were Chinese or they were Asian. There's 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 just no way. So I spent the big bucks. I went to Honda. Here's an original Honda package. This is what it's supposed to look like because this came right from the dealer. And I didn't want to screw around, so I bought it, and it's not leaking now. Everything's great. More Chinese junk. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. Isn't that fancy? Away I go. Looks like you can pick that thing up and carry it away. Silly madness going on there.
Well, I did six runs auto crossing. I really didn't like it that much. It's um it's a lot like trying to get the best time while going slow in a parking lot and I'm I'm not I'm really not into that. And now for the rest of the day, these people are out there in that open parking lot trying to drift or something. It's like I don't know, they're all behaving like they don't know how to drive. I don't I don't really understand what the deal is out there. It's not really a competition or anything. It's kind of like drifting, I suppose. I'm I'm not going to go out there and join them. They're just burning up tires in a parking lot. And I I don't I don't understand. I did that a long time ago. These guys are just endless all day. Just burnouts and burnouts and burnouts squealing tires it's like what i go out there and watch them for about 20 minutes and i just start laughing i'm like what are you people doing i don't i don't even understand so it's really not a spectator thing it's not a competition it's just they're just out there in the parking lot having fun i don't i don't know burning up tires tomorrow should be better though i should like it a lot
was amazing. Car through a check engine light. I don't know why. Too much boost. I blew a head gasket. 24 pounds is too much for this thing to handle. Well, I decided to let it cool down, filled it back up with coolant. I turned the boost down to about 18 PSI and I took it for a couple laps just to see what had happened. I turned myself into a BRZ sandwich, just taking it easy. And uh, I let it cool down again and it's got a bunch of coolant and overflow again. So it's definitely pushing coolant and it won't go back in. 
So I'm going to need another head gasket for this. And I, I don't feel like doing one here. I could probably do one here and run it again tomorrow, but I don't want to. Some people tell me that if I put SRT4 head studs in here, it'd, it'd help out a lot and it might solve my problem. So I'll probably try that. And then it's like they're like one millimeter bigger. Then I'll turn the boost way down and try to run this again next year. I got a feeling these D16s just don't like open lapping. Apparently they're going to be the same diameter as twin cam head studs, so I'm going to try that and uh, see if this thing holds up because I really enjoyed that open lapping. It was a lot of fun. This is a really fun car for doing that with. It was super cool. I'm going to go watch some drifting. I tried it one more time. I turned my boost down to wastegate pressure and I took it on two laps just real cool and real smooth and I check I, I pulled over and I checked everything and um, it was okay. So I gave it hell and all the coolant pushed out went all over the damn place And uh, yeah, I let it cool back down and it's it sucked all the coolant back in the system that was in there. I just the overflow was full from the last run I did and I just emptied it out and there was there was the, the coolant was down about this far and I just left it. And um, yeah, I was pulling an overheating temp coat on me by the time I got it back and it blew coolant all over the place, but Boy, I tell you what, that last 20 minutes, that was a real hot run. I could control the car a lot better because it was only 12 pounds of boost. And nobody could pass me the whole time. This thing really handled well. And I was just starting to get used to the track, too. So I'm going to do them SRT4 head studs, and I'm going to give this another go next year. And I'm probably just going to leave it at wastegate pressure when I put it on the open track. I don't think it likes this open lapping very much at all. I don't think I've ever had so much fun on four wheels. That was amazing. Okay, bye.